film around the world. Um, you've been to Europe, you're now in America. Mm. Tell us a few of the places where the film has actually screened over the last like two to three months. Okay, well, the first screening we, we, we was in Lagos. Um, in Nigeria, we had premier in Lagos, Abuja, and Patakot. Okay. And we moved to Ghana. We had a fantastic premier in Ghana. The week after, we had another one in the UK, which had a huge turnout of over 1,000 people. And a lot of them couldn't even fit into the cinema, um, which generated a lot of review because we had the media, UK media and critics. And um, you know, it was all over newspaper and all over internet. Um, then we got official selection from Rotterdam International Film Festival, where mm -hmm. the film had the international premiere. Uh, from Rotterdam, I went to Berlin, where I was one of the panelists to discuss the future of Africa cinema. Mm -hmm. And Figurin was also part of Figurin was screen, you know, to do as I mean, to to do a sample you know, mm -hmm. of film from Africa, from, Africa. Did, from, mm -hmm. from the new generation of filmmakers from Africa. Um, then DC, Washington DC, the film screen at the Smithsonian Museum of Africa at, you know, and um, we had very good turnout, good, I mean, Q&A afterwards, and it was, it was a great experience. And here we are in Atlanta, in Atlanta. where the film is showing today. Uh, the film has been officially selected again for um, Africa for New York Africa Film Festival, um, Wisconsin International Film Festival, mm -hmm. um, Tarifa Film Festival in Spain, mm -hmm. um, International Film Festival in Japan, mm -hmm. and um, um, about two festivals in Japan, and um, hopefully Cannes. We've sent in a uh, screener entry, so for hopefully Cannes. for mm -hmm. Cannes. So hopefully it's gonna screen there. So the film is presently touring the world. Yeah. Okay, well, um, thank you very much, Kunle, for being here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. We're at the um, Woodruff Art Center, which is like the biggest art center mm -hmm. in Atlanta. This is, I believe, that this is actually the best place to screen this film. Mm -hmm. um, because one of the things we are doing at Yellow Day Productions and at Pinky Magazine um, is to bring African cinema mm -hmm. to venues in America that African cinema is not normally screened. Mm. Um, and we're just hoping that, you know, people like you can, you know, bring more films to the US. Because I think, you know, we haven't really broken into the market here in yeah. America yet. In Europe, it's different because, you know, we as Africans have actually been in Europe a lot longer. Even in Europe, we haven't because our film only appealed to the Africans in diaspora well, and the Nigerians, you know, not the European. The Europeans. So not until we have main frame, main stream distribution where a film can go to cinema, mm -hmm. release in box release. office like yes. an average European or American film. But I think we're getting there. Yes, I, I think it's a process and I mm. think a lot of people are critical about the industry. But like you said, mm. it has been created, yeah. so it exists. So mm -hmm. now what we need to do is mm. take it to that next level. Yeah. And we thank you so much for being here. It's all right. And um, we look forward to the screening. It's a pleasure. different to the usual predictable movies. He's one of the bright minds in the Nigerian film industry. Uh, he's an awesome filmmaker and uh, all I just want to say is more grits to your elbow. Uh, I just saw the film and I was quite impressed. Hello, my name is Sumi. I'm happy I came here to see the movie. Um, we actually wanted to see it in Lagos, but we missed it. Um, it's a great movie. We love it. It kind of tells us kind of, kind of, kind of about African culture and 
and how we think about yeah, African beliefs. Yeah, that was a very good movie by Kule Afolayo. Uh, we were expecting more from him. And I hope in future, Nigerian movie industry will be able to be well organized. Well, this was a wonderful night at our first African movie night event in Atlanta, Georgia, where we screened the figurine around Romire. So many people, I mean, people just absolutely loved it. So we hope to continue this kind of event where we're bringing innovative African films to Atlanta, to different parts of the state, and eventually, of course, you know, globally as well. Um, it's time for Africans to tell their own story from an African's perspective. And we're so glad that Kune Afolayan was able to join us here in Atlanta, meet his audience here, and uh, we look forward to future collaborations. Peace out, Atlanta!